Hello everyone and welcome back to Besiege. Once again, I have not prepared anything since the last episode. I'm really bad at doing that. And uh, actually, as I was opening the game a few minutes ago to start recording, uh, it updated. It's kind of funny because over the past few weeks, I actually have opened Steam to just update games and such a few times. And I didn't see Besiege get updated then. Then the day I go to record, there's an update. And I actually did uh, check out the update page. Apparently there's a few new blocks and some textural changes or something like that. So, okay. I don't think there's any new zones. And I did actually uh, try to do a recording and went there and back. And that crash bug with the resolution I have still is the thing. So, uh, let's just head into this zone. I think this is where we left off. And I think that, yeah, the seagulls are giving me trouble. Now, I can skip ahead a few zones. Huh. The Duke's Steer Freighters and the Duke's Prototypes and Seagulls. Now, uh, last time I was trying to do the flying stuff, I think, and I had no idea how to do the Seagulls. I still don't have any idea how to do it, but let's just head in here and see if I can figure anything out. So, two of the new blocks. Uh, yeah, this is basic. Let's see how I can find them. Okay, the log block. I mean... Okay, I guess it's just a bigger, normal, wooden block, the log. That's cool, I guess. And, uh, there was one really interesting one. There's a vacuum. I have no idea what a vacuum would do. Uh, let's see if I can find that. I don't know. I heard also, like, the cannons got texture updates or something, or some of them. I don't know. We'll probably come as we see them. Ah, crossbow. It has 30 bolts to fire. So, hmm, actually, give me a second, I want to see if I can use this crossbow just to fire at the seagulls and destroy all these guys, so, uh, yeah, let me build something for that. Well, here it is, um, it might not be exactly level with them, so this might not work well, uh, I might raise it up if this seems to have any sign of success, but, uh, success, yeah, hard to say that word for some reason. So, yeah, it's sea to fire, though, so I do this. Okay, I want to see how much drop-off it has. Oh, that's a lot more drop-off than I was hoping. But this is a really cool weapon, and at least it's a good uh, test of it. I can see this design being very useful for other things. And, yeah. If I just hold it down, will they keep firing? Yep. So, I mean, it does seem pretty good at clearing some of the previous ones, just maybe not seagulls. But let me try raising the crossbows up a bit, or something like that, and maybe we can do this a little better. Okay, maybe this will work a little better. I'll try getting as close and as high as I could with the crossbows, and uh, I'm not sure if the previous ones will cause problems or not. We'll find out. So, uh, sea to fire. Well, I hit one. That's a new record. Okay, it's working, it's just not high enough to work properly. Hmm. So yeah, I need to get it up a bit higher, but I feel like this is at least a bit more promising than previous attempts. I just wish I could rapid fire a little more to catch them when they come around. But yeah, I am probably going to run out of ammo before I get anywhere close, because I feel like the red bar on the bottom. I'm not anywhere close. Anyway, I think I'm going to save this design and then probably go to one of the newer levels. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I can figure out, or I don't think this is the way I'm going to beat seagulls. So, I'll save that for next time. Well, I guess the next one to do is the Duke's prototypes, because we cleared that one and might as well go in order until we get stuck. And I still have this, all oh, right, this one. I had the Rishi Insignias. I forgot about that. And the music's weird. For a second I thought it was actually something outside, but nope, it's just music. So, yeah, the exploding things, I never found a good way to deal with them. Well, just because I can, I think I would like to try loading up one of these and seeing how well... Yeah, this one has turning. Okay, so... I... Do, do, do. Hmm. Yeah. The problem is, I cannot outrun these guys. Okay. 
Maybe my burning bite can... Nope, nope. Hmm. I don't know. This is why I need you to prepare off camera and didn't. Actually, I was thinking about this earlier, and facetious for me anyway, it's just one of these games I just don't do any off camera stuff with. Hmm. I was kind of hoping to run. <laughs> they even ran to my one part over here just to blow it up. Yeah, I don't think I can do this one either. But uh, Besiege is just a game I, like, only play when I go to record it. I don't do any off-camera. And I think there's kind of, like, three categories of games I kind of came up with. Oh, boy. Huh. Uh, where's the airship? Airship? Uh... I can't remember which one it was. I feel like it's that one. Or was it Glider? Oh, we're gonna find out. Apparently not that one. <laughs> uh, do, do, do. Glider, I guess this is the one. Okay. Oops, had the wrong key. Do I have weapons on this? Doesn't look like it. I forgot how I triggered the propeller. Um, okay, I guess I need to look that up. Uh, flight, O to fly. Okay, but yeah, so some, the types, or what I was thinking of anyway, relating to Besiege, yeah, there's a few kind of like classifications of, oh god, they have cannons. Oh, I see how they do it now. Okay. So they have multiple propellers on the side to help them get up. So I guess that's the design I need to copy if I want to beat these guys. Because I had trouble with these air balloons and just the front propeller getting to move around. So I guess that's how you do it. Huh. Well, uh, I guess I'll have to hold my thought there and uh, take a second to design something and see if I can get something adequate enough to defeat them. Okay, so I have the basic design, but, um... I think I might have screwed up a little. Huh. So, yeah, I got the whole, uh, fly bit, but not the whole, um... Stability. I think it's because the spinning blocks on this are disconnected. I'm not sure what those are, or how it bridges out. I think that, uh, I don't know, it has wooden panel, but I'm not sure what the other, I, is it wooden poles? Can you stretch? No, I just don't know how they connect that part to get it separate, but I'm getting there. So, yeah. Okay, uh, let's take bets on whether this will work or not. I decided doing the four propellers might not have been going well, and what is this one again? So, O for this one, E to revert those, and... Uh, C for the crossbow. So, I don't expect this to work. Uh, which key is it? Alright, oh, right click. I got right click and middle mouse button. You know, my, uh, obligatory, uh, complaint about the controls per episode, so. I just don't know how you stabilize that better. Yeah. Huh. Oh, if... I don't know, it's... I just don't know how... Yeah, I guess it's shaking too much of the machine still. I just don't know how to kind of... Separate that? <laughs> like a way to make those spin freely without touching the rest of the machine? That disconnects. I don't know, suspension? I don't think that's what you need for this. I don't know, I just don't know which block it is so I think I might have to end this episode here just because I cannot get this working actually but well, let me just save this as no not as glider please fail copter and now let's load glider again assuming I didn't save over it yeah is this one so, we know this one works. So, what happens if I just go down here, 
rotate that, and just stick a couple crossbows there. So I have to press O to fly, and then C to crossbow. Apparently, uh, the crossbows alone make it too heavy, because my god, this design's hard to pull off. Actually, maybe that's the problem with the other one. I didn't have any air balloons. Hmm. Hold on. Let's uh, head back to Failcopter real quick. Just one last chance to see if I can get this working without having to change a bunch. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some blocks. Build back here. Actually, let's uh, redo that a little. Now, let's just say to there. Go to flight. Balloons. I never figured out what it means by adjustable for that. Yeah, I saw that coming. So yeah, I think I'm going to have to end this episode here just because I don't know how to clear any of the maps I'm currently presented with. And I think I need to look into building better machines and not just going in and seeing whatever I can come up with that episode. Because uh, I have no idea how to take out those birds. I have no idea how to get past the exploding sheep, and I have no idea how to build a good flying machine. So, yeah, I'm not sure when the next episode of this will be, just because I apparently have trouble getting stuff ready and just kind of throw this in. And, oh, well, like I was saying earlier, not to leave that on a cliffhanger. I, I, there's some games that I just, like, only play when I record, and this is one of them. There's other games that I only play for videos, like, I'll play when I record, but also do off-camera stuff. Which is Minecraft survival mostly. I do some other Minecraft stuff off camera, but I don't do a lot of survival outside of videos these days. Then there's games I only play when I'm not recording, like Pokemon. I never have done Pokemon videos, partly because it's not easy. I don't have capture cards and stuff, but, you know, that's just kind of a game for me. And then there's kind of games I do both of. Like RuneScape. I play it off camera, and I play it for videos, and I play it while recording. So yeah, that's a weird one. I don't know. Hopefully I can get a Besiege more to the category where I play it for videos but not just when recording so I actually can prepare. Because I do like this game. It is a really cool game and I do like how there's still, you know, updates coming out. New blocks like the crossbow which looks really cool and I really am interested to try it out when I have more opportunities. Like if I can build a flying machine and shoot them down with a crossbow, that would be awesome. But uh, yeah, for now though, I think I'm going to end off this episode, and hopefully by next time I will have stuff that works, and we can try and clear all the way to this zone over the next few episodes. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, goodbye.